Hello everyone, so today we have another tournament. Today, we're doing a straw weight tournament. Yes, sir. It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Thug Rose Namajunas and Alexa Grasso. Representing Lobo MMA in Guadalajara, here is Alexa Grasso, the Mexican phenom, one of the youngest women on this UFC roster. But when you look at the credentials, age doesn't matter. She's had some injuries in the past, but when Alexa Grasso has been healthy, she has been one of the best strawweights in the world. Brazilian jiu-jitsu blue belt, but an outstanding striker. Three of her four knockout wins in 36 seconds or less. Not the fight during which to get a cold one. Alexa Grasso back under the bright lights tonight. This girl has outstanding speed and footwork. Very difficult to catch, very elusive, and very good at closing the distance and landing her own strikes. She is absolutely terrifying on the feet because of this. Well, Thug Rose Namajunas is only just getting started as she makes this walk tonight as the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. Two largely dominant wins against Ioana Yeon Jacek have vaulted her to mixed martial arts superstardom. Now the question is, as Rose continues to evolve, how much have these other contenders evolved to try to shore up and close that gap? This girl has a ridiculous chin, and a chin like hers is such an amazing asset to have. She can take shots, she has massive confidence in her ability to take shots, and she stays in the pocket and lands big bombs with her counter strikes. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Even match up here on paper, a lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing the Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, 2 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Alexa Grossa! And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of... Nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Fog Rose Narayuna! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up. I'm going to wreck you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. That's my gloves. Yeah. Mink. I remember this was a... Uh, I remember watching Alexa Grasso take out... Uh, uh, Valentina Shevchenko. <laughs> I watched that live actually. Really I paid 60 bucks as for John Doe to win in like two seconds. And he's putting pride. Oh! Over there. Oh, the Ooh. Heck landed. oh, the heck landed! Oh, the heck landed! That one hurt. 
Oh, okay, I need this. Stop! What you, what you gonna do? We? Oh. Wah! We? Ma! Get up! Sorry, I'm playing with you. Hey, hey! What you, what you gonna do? Boink! Ma! 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 Oh! <laughs> Ma! Sit down! Oh, okay. Back up again. Big shot to the head. She's hurt. Come She's on, get up. up. This could be it right here. Oh. Lay down. Lay her butt down. You are nothing. Ah. The job. Beautiful knockout. The shiny head do work. The shiny bald head do work. Slump. Me 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 me. What? Me 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 me. Boom! Ouch! That hurt. Like. And there she is after the massive knockout. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Alright, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout... Yeah! Well, they will enjoy this one in the 303 and beyond. Big ups to Rose Namajunas. There with her chief corner, Trevor Whitman. That is a potent one-two combination, folks. And they've really taken Nama Yunus's game to the next level of late. This just might have been her best performance to date, and many still believe the best is yet to come for Thug Rose. Woohoo! I don't know any of these fighters. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for oh, you. Oh, heck no. Nah. I'm in love with the emo girl. Look at <laughs> So here is the perennial strawweight contender, Felice Herrick. She started kickboxing essentially right out of high school in 2003 and never looked back. Turned pro in mixed martial arts in 2009 purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu has an outstanding submission game but is known primarily as a Muay Thai practitioner a kickboxing fighter who sets a furious pace and has the stamina to stay with it Felice Herrig fighting as always in the memory of her late brother trying to get it done here tonight this girl is a true takedown expert she has a full arsenal of takedown techniques and it is her specialty she is so good at closing the distance and utilizing spectacular takedowns to bring her opponent to the mat. So here's the mother of two boys, Rowdy Beck Rawlings. She started training back in 2010, really just to get fit and lose weight about nine months after giving birth to her youngest son, Ensign. And Beck Rollins has gone on to become a top 15. We'll see if she can get off to a fast start, though. That is the objective tonight, to let the hands go, get into a street fight, and really let her skills show. This is a ninja who can strike with the best of them. Rowdy Beck Rawlings in search of the biggest win of her UFC career tonight. This girl has ridiculous hand speed. It is one of her best assets and one of the most terrifying things. She can hit you before you can hit her. And she can also get out of the way before you can hit her. No! No! Fighting someone who has the kind of hand speed that she possesses. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, he's looking. And now, this is the moment 
UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 14 wins, 8 losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weigh in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, Felice Lil Bulldog Harris. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 7 wins, 8 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Brisbane, Australia, Rowdy Beck Rollins. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down. Yeah, come on, right let's go. Now. Let's go. Here yeah. We go. Da, 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 da. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up. Yeah, maggot. Stay in the house. Nice. Oh. Hey, I feel stone, don't it? Oh. Nah. Dink! Hey, you're dead! There's no coming back tonight! You're dead! None! Die! Queen! Yeah, Joe, outstanding technique by her to land that shot and finish the fight here in the first round. Sometimes when you catch a fighter cold before she's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a more pronounced effect. That is certainly the case in this fight here tonight. What a result. What a knockout. Check it out again. Ba boom! And there she is after the huge knockout victory here tonight. What a moment for this young fighter. You got to feel pretty good for her, Joe. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 20 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Police will pull down. Yeah! Professional sports than to have your hand raised inside that octagon, but she took it a step further tonight. Massive knockout victory. No TKO here. This was a flush KO. She's probably getting some bonus money. One thing I can guarantee you, she is getting a massive high profile opportunity next. Congratulations as the celebration continues following the big KO tonight. All right, coming up next, it is a most anticipated women's strawweight matchup between Joanne Calderwood and Jessica Panic. I don't know, Calderwood looks better. I don't, I don't even know, they both ugly, but I, no, I'm sorry, that's messed up. <laughs> You know, it's one thing to take your opponent down. It's another thing to keep them there and control them on the ground. She knows exactly how to do it, and that's what really has led to a lot of her mixed martial arts success. Get the takedown, control her on the ground, and sap their willpower in the gas tank from there. You better stop the shot against this young woman tonight, because if you don't, problems. This girl's grappling is at a very high level. She has excellent takedowns and excellent takedown defense, and she'll be looking to use her grappling skills to bring this fight into her world. Well, this young woman has a great skill set, but certainly it's the striking defense that comes out when you watch the film. She'll use movement and defense to set up her own offensive angles, but she'll hang out in the pocket because she's so confident in her ability to stick and move and get her head off of that center line. Really as good a defender of strikes as we have in this women's division. This girl has ridiculous power in her kicks. 
Her kicking technique is supreme, and she is one of the best knockout artists in this division with her legs. Look for her to try to stay on the outside and utilize those extremely powerful kicks. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Calderwood is 31. Penne is 35. She will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 6 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of 100 Such a grappler? I wish someone would grapple with me. Wait, that's me. That's me. <laughs> that, that's me. Never mind, that's me. That's me. That's me. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 3 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Glasgow, Scotland, Joanne Calderwood. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, here we go. I have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go down right now. Here we go. Lands a punch. Nice combination of strikes there by Calderwood. Yeah. Oh, powerful right leg kick. <laughs> Lands the right hand over the top. Oh, kick to the face. Knee to the body. Mink, mink. Oh, another vicious knee to the body. That knee is just outstanding. Yeah. Ma, 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 ma. Combinations here. Mink. Come on, don't you? This could be it. Oh, how about that shit? Oh, and just like that, the fight. Straight to the canvas. Damn. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. Yeah, Joe, how about the knockout there? Beautiful. Yeah. The fight ended. We're a broken record when it comes to this, but sometimes when you catch a fighter cold, maybe before she's had a chance to get it, going. that strike can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Watch this again here. Hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> and good night. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout. Near perfect execution, and that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official Ladies decision. And gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joanne Calderwood. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. She has the potential. I call her clean on her face, too. I, it was flush like a toilet. Just knock. She went, ah! She said she was going to do. Maybe she gets a bonus, I'm not sure. One thing I am sure of, Joe, she is going to get a high-profile opponent next. And she is going to enjoy this evening tonight celebrating with her coaches and teammates. It is a women's 115-pound matchup between Paige Van Zandt and Michelle Watterson. Yeah, I choose the white girl! Uh, is she Van Zandt? Is she Water I think she's Watterson. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> A lifelong martial artist here is the affable karate hottie Michelle Watterson. 
had to deal with some injuries in her career, but when she's been healthy, she has proven to be one of the best 115-pound fighters in the world. Big fight against Rose Nama Yunus. Huge win over Paige Van Zant. Karate hottie, very much a factor here at 115 pounds. This girl has ridiculously impressive, lightning-fast hand speed. It is one of her best qualities and one of the most terrifying things that you could face inside the octagon. When someone is faster than you, it is such a huge advantage. So here is Paige Van Zant representing Team Alpha Male in Sacramento, California. She's been forced to grow up in the UFC, but that doesn't mean she hasn't realized a lot of success. A lot of people believe with her well-rounded skill set and the grappling starting to catch up to the striking that Paige Van Zant is going to find herself in a UFC strawweight championship fight before her career is said and done. And of course, she is just getting started. The wildly popular 12-gauge Paige Van Zant in another big one tonight. This girl has outstanding hand speed, lightning fast punches that come from all angles, and she gets out of the way before you can hit her back. She's one of the most difficult fighters to face in this division. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Watterson is nine years the elder. Van Zandt will have a three-inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge Dan Mergliata and now this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out in the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 16 wins, 6 losses. She stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, the Karate Hottie, Michelle Waterstein. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out in the red corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, 12 gauge, Paige Benson. All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to Yeah! Touch him up. Give it a little to die! You're gonna die! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Alright, so we'll get another look tonight. Alright, buddy. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to hang out on the feet here for two bucks. He's got to go for the early takedown. Let's go. Oh, you suck. Hey, hey. I won't grapple with you. Head kick. Oh, good combination. We got to fight, folks. Oh, this could be it right here. Get up. Come on. Weave. Yeah, you're dead. You're not going anywhere. Tell place you're going is heaven. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah, Joe, outstanding technique by her to land that shot and finish the fight here in the first round. Sometimes when you catch a fighter cold before she's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a more pronounced effect 
That is certainly the case in this fight. Heel right to the jaw. My heel connected with your jaw. Mop the floor with you. That hurt. That hurt. Mink. 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 And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies Buck. and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata's called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Yeah, buddy. Paige Van Zandt is your winner, and there it is, that million-dollar smile. We've essentially watched her grow up and evolve inside this octagon, and clearly tonight, she took her game and her skills to that requisite next level. Interesting opportunity now for the matchmakers as they set up her next fight here at 115 pounds. All right, coming up next, ah, uh, yes, a women's strawweight matchup. But oh, yes. And Jessica Aguilar. She look like she got the meanest jaw ever. I'm picking her. She thought she could take some hits. Golly. You said what about me? So I'm sorry, man. Why is that the new place to start? But with her offensive wrestling, you got to figure she'll lean on the takedown here tonight. High level offensive wrestling. She's so good at taking fighters down and then using her strength and her hips once she gets there. You got to think in this particular stylistic matchup, we're going to see her shoot 20, 30 seconds in. And best of luck to the opposition trying to get back up. This girl has a ridiculous chin. Her ability to take punishment is the stuff of legends. I have seen her take bombs and barely wince. She presses forward, and because of the fact that she has this incredible chin, she is able to stay in the pocket and land strikes on her opponent that maybe other fighters would never be able to get off. This girl is one of the very best defensive fighters in the sport. She is so good at blocking strikes and so difficult to hit cleanly in a vulnerable area. Her blocking technique is something that all young fighters should watch and try to emulate. tale of the tape for this strawweight fight more than five years apart some differences in height and reach once again here is the veteran voice of the octagon bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge herb dean and now this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner, this woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 7 losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Jessica Jag Avila. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, 3 losses. She stands 5 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Keisha the Tiny Tornado Torres. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a nah, long time. Nah, it ain't for me clean. I'm for the kill. I'm very excited. I'm for the kill. For the kill. Ma. 
Ma, 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 ma. Why did she hit that? Ooh, that was, yeah. Rock and soccer robot, buddy. Oh, I mean that. I meant to try to like grapple her. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You wanna hit me while I'm down? Get up. Don't ever hit me while I'm on the ground on top of you. You only gonna learn your lesson. Damn! Damn! What did I just say? Don't ever hit me while I'm on top of you. Don't ever. You got the authority to do that. You suck. Get out of my face. Early in the first. Yeah, Joe, how about the knockout there? I told you not to do it, and I showed you why you shouldn't do it. Yeah, we're a broken record when it comes to this, but sometimes when you catch a fighter cold, maybe before she's had a chance to get herself into the fight, that strike can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. We can see it from a different angle here. Look at the power. Yeah, I'm That hurt it. The fight is done. And here it is again. Billy Akasha! Ow! Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 56 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jessica! Stop playing me, man! Yes, sir! Well, she's got all the tools, Joe, and she certainly put them to good use tonight as she gets the win and gets so with style points by way of the knockout. No judges needed for this one, and you can be sure her bankroll is going to be fatter on Monday morning. She'll probably get a bonus. At the very least, though, the celebration is on. You see... It is a women's strawweight matchup. Between Angela Hill and What's this? Calvia and the last girl look the same. Uh, something like it. Alright, so here she is, Cynthia Calvillo, firmly in the strawweight mix here, and really has been from the moment she made her UFC debut back at UFC 209, submitted Amanda Cooper, one pay-per-view later, submitted Pearl Gonzalez, this daughter of Mexican immigrants is a legitimate threat to all of the elite at 115 pounds, not a woman you want to mess with when it comes to the transition and scrambling game on the canvas, Cynthia Calvillo, thankfully for the fans, back for more tonight. This girl has incredible takedowns. Her takedowns are spectacular. She's so good at closing the distance and throwing fighters onto the ground. She is an expert at bringing fighters to the ground. Well, if there was an award for most improved fighter in 2017, that distinction very well could have gone to Angela over Kill Hill. She returned from a more than one year absence in the octagon and went the distance with Jessica Andrade in an unforgettable fight of the night. Outstanding striker, one of the more conditioned fighters in this strawweight division, and also has some championship experience, an Invicta FC strawweight title to her credit, some championship medal and experience she figures to lean on in this matchup tonight. This girl is an expert at takedown defense. She is one of the best in the world at making sure the fight stays on the feet. She's so good at stuffing takedowns, and she really discourages fighters with the ability that she has to force them to stand with her. Our tale of the take for this strawweight fight. Both fighters are 30 years old, with similar height and the same reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. If you fighting out of the blue corner, this 
Woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of seven wins, one loss. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, Cynthia Cavillo. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, Angela Overkill Hill. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, here we go. Yeah. Fired up for this fight. It's yeah. been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> all right, round one underway. We'll see if Angela Hill can get off to one of those me, me, fast me. starts, which she has done several times inside the octagon. This form, her current form, undeniably the best of her UFC career. Come on. Okay, fair enough. Don't ever try to get the ground game on me. You don't want to get the ground game. Weave. Monk. Monk. When you're fighting an opponent of this caliber, it really has become a patented punch of hers and something that a lot of opponents know is coming, but still... All right, well, stop trying to do that. Let's wrestle, let's wrestle. I mean, about. if I, I your make... wrist link is zero, your grappling is zero. Stall it down, I'm gonna Stall mow it. you. Let's wrestle, kid. Let's, let's, let's wrestle. wrestle. Let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. Six October. Let's, let's wrestle. wrestle. Let's wrestle. Let's wrestle, kid. Let's wrestle. You wanna know, wrestle, right? Come here. Let's wrestle. Come on, wrestle. Like you wanna wrestle, right? Come on, wrestle me. What you doing? You you not wrestling? Why why you why why you not wrestling? Why you tap? 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 You suck. You suck. Why you tap? Why you tap? Why you tap? You suck. You suck. Why you tap? Get out of here! I told you you don't want to wrestle me, but nah, you still wanted to wrestle. I mean, hey, I gave it to you. You're welcome. Yep. She went, she went, she went, ow, ouchie, 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 that hurt! Locks it in and forces the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there she is, your winner by submission, and there will be no wiping the smile off her face tonight as she turns in one of the bigger highlights of her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Angela Overkill Hill. So there she is following what could be argued as the biggest win of her career. She gets it done by submission here tonight. She told us during fight week, Joe, I got to keep the judges out of it. She certainly did just that. Now all that's left to do is to celebrate with her coaches and her training partners. She had a lot of friends and family in the building here tonight. And man, did she put on a show for them and maximize this UFC show. Between Claudia Cadillia and Jessica Andrade. She looked like she could take some hits, that girl right there. They, they, look, they look like sisters. They look like sisters. Well, it sounds trite, but they say sometimes the best offense can be a good defense, and the cliche certainly applies here. She can stick and move with the best of them, and she's not afraid to hang in the pocket because she can do so without taking significant damage. She has frustrated some truly high-level opponents with her ability to stick and move and get her head off the center line. This girl has monstrous knockout power. It's one of her biggest assets, and she is extremely confident in it. She will step forward towards her opponent, knowing that one of her shots is all it takes to close the show.
Well, she's been primarily a grappler and a wrestler thus far in the UFC. Here is the former strawweight title challenger, Claudia Gedalia. But you remember the fight against Jessica Aguilar back at UFC 190 when she landed more than 100 significant strikes. So she can also strike with the best of them. Now training out of Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The striking is catching up with the grappling on any given Saturday night in Claudia Gedalia. You could be staring at the best strawweight on the planet. This girl is so good at taking fighters to the ground from the clinch. She has a no! takedowns and throws from the clinch. Tying up with her is a dangerous proposition. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Andrade is 26. Gadelia is 29. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right. See, that's on me. I would touch gloves. So, touch gloves. Oh, okay. Gave you second chance for Naya. Oh, you got a, oh, you got a bell. Oh, no, she don't. No. Alright, bro. I play with you. Alright, I took my last opponent. I'm not gonna be wrestling, okay? No wrestling. Unless you wanna catch some of this work, too, but I'm not really down with that. I don't think you want some of this. Alright, buddy. I said I'm not gonna be wrestling. Stop now. Takedown will be useful for Gadelia here to try to stem the tide. Is she dead? He suck. He suck. He suck. He suck. I told you do not rest on me and you tried it two times. It was gonna go either way. You were either gonna die on the ground or you're gonna die in real life. Standing up. I kill you. I kill you now. I kill you now. Now I kill you. Super point point. Look at this. Yakasha. And that is all she wrote. That's all she said. Now she's gonna be drinking through a straw for a while. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. I put a fist straight through her face. I almost punched that mole mole off her face.
Well, there are a few greater mm -hmm. highs in all of professional sports than to have your hand raised inside that octagon. Always me. Always the winner here. Tonight. Massive knockout victory. No yes, KO. her. This was a flush KO. She's probably getting some bonus money. One thing I can guarantee you, she is getting a massive, high-profile opportunity next. Congratulations as the celebration continues following the... Mm-hmm, yep. It's a UFC women's strawweight division matchup. I'm gonna go with Marcos. Cause she got red hair. Well, I start limping after watching film of this young woman's leg kicks. There is no denying what she'll be trying to do tonight to unleash the devastating kicks on her opponent. And she'll attack everywhere on the body. She'll go up top. These kicks are brutally powerful, and she can do major damage just by landing a couple. This girl is such a well-rounded fighter. She has a full arsenal of techniques at her disposal, and because she's so well-rounded, you never really know what she's going to do. Excellent takedowns, but excellent striking as well. Very good submissions, very good submission defense. She literally can do it all. Well, here's the Michigan top team rep, Randa Quiet Storm Marcos, and what a story it is for Marcos. Escaped from Baghdad, Iraq with her family when she was three years old and has gone on to UFC glory. In terms of women representing Canada, perhaps nobody has higher expectations than Randa Marcos. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue belt, outstanding grappler, and given her backdrop, right, escaping out of Iraq, Joe, no denying the determination and all the heart that Randa Marcos brings to the table. This girl's a very well-rounded fighter. Now, some fighters, they have a specialty, and if they, they're taken out of that specialty, they lose a lot of their effectiveness. Not so with her. She is equally good on the ground as she is standing up. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Mm. You want to my glove? 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 Don't tell me you don't want to my glove. You want to my glove? You need to my glove. Come 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 my glove. I don't want to wrestle with you, dude. Do you want to be like my other three opponents, dude? Or do you want to be my, my other two opponents? Like, stop. 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 She's knocked down. Get up. Get up. What was that? 
Stop that. Bad. Bad. Don't do that. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad dog. <laughs> And here we see it again. Oh man. KO. And there she is after the huge knockout victory here tonight. What a moment for this young fighter. You gotta feel pretty good for her, Joe. I'm Timothy Timothy. Bruce Buffer, he has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Yes! And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. She has the potential to be an absolute superstar, especially given what she did tonight. Biggest knockout victory of her career. Certainly kept the judges out of it, as she said she was going to do. Maybe she gets a bonus. I'm not sure. One thing I am sure of, Joe, she is going to get a high-profile opponent next. And she is going to enjoy this evening tonight celebrating with her coaches and teammates. It is a women's 115-pound matchup. Uh -oh. Number Yunus, I like Number Yunus. Rose, Number Yunus. So here is the strawweight contender, Felice Herrick. Not a lot of people gave her a chance fighting Alexa Grasso in Houston, Texas, back in February of 2017. Emerged with a big upset win that night, and that really got her career back on a championship trajectory. This is a woman who has been in the MMA game almost 10 years, had a battle with a lot of different demons outside the octagon, lost her brother when she was a very young girl, and that is something that has buoyed her late in her MMA career. Felice Herrig, her current form, the best of her MMA career. This girl has amazing blocking technique. She can stand right in front of you, and you just can't hit her cleanly. She has such a huge advantage in that, and knowing that she has the ability to I kill her. Parry all the I don't care. I kill her. I show her who boss. I, I, I kill her. I show her who boss. Right, so she died. She is Thug Rose Nama Yunus, and twice now she has accomplished what a lot of people didn't think she could. That is to best Joanna Yeon Jacek, first knocked her out, and then beat her on points over 25 minutes. And as Nama Yunus continues to evolve, prevailing theory is it's going to be even harder for one of these 115 pound up and comers to beat her. This girl has such amazing takedown defense. It's so good to watch, and young fighters could do no better than to emulate the techniques that she utilizes in keeping fights on the feet. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and the same reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, 8 losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois. Felice Lil Bulldog Harry. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. 
fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Fog Rose Narayunas! All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to have to be quiet. right now. I'm very excited. All right, ready to go here with live action as we get underway here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Well, you can expect a high volume of output in round one from Felice Herrick. She is as conditioned as any straw weight on the roster. Oh! Body kick, look at that. Nice takedown. Solid jab. Oh, big kick. Huge shots there. That's a big hook. Vicious combinations. Huge uppercut misses. Well, she left her head open there, Joe, and she paid for it. She continues to lean in almost as if she's moving into the strike. She'd be wise to change up the tempo here. Hera gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Nice jab. What a start for Rose Namajunas. Another takedown attempt here. Hera gets the single leg takedown. Big kick, but miss. Lands oh, a hard shot with the left. Oh, head kick! Big straight punch. Wow! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? This could be it! Look at this! Takedown! Dropping down, looking for a single. Oh, she Bro, she needs to start wrestling me. So I, I'm trying to be quiet. Whoa! Side control, tying up that arm, looking for the Kimura. Clean hammer fist. And she connects there. She moves to half guard. Under three minutes remain in round one. That one hurt. How about that shin? And there's a nice jab. Able to check the high kick. There it gets another takedown. That is a very good sign, Joe. Nama Yunus's shot is blocked. Nice. Thug she making me angry. By that kick to the body. She making me so angry right now. Nice Get back, girl. Oh. Look at that, right to the Stop trying to wrestle with me, you suck. You're really doggy doo doo. This could be it right here. <laughs> Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Come on, you won't you won't you won't clinch, right? Let's clinch. Come here. Stop trying to wrestle with me. You don't learn, do you? Body kick, look at that. Me. Really ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Right, so mink. Oh. Mink. Oh. mink. 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 Ma. 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 And you're dead for. Stop trying to wrestle with me, you suck. You suck. Get a face! Beautiful timing and execution for a knockout blow. Yeah, Joe, that'll get the crowd on its feet. A near perfect land to end the fight for her here tonight. Just the way she drew it up, she had her focus on the knockout. Mick! Mick! Shut your jaw, girl! Stop talking to me! Ah! And that certainly spelled her. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout. Near perfect execution, and that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliato has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Fog Rose Narayuna! 
Yes, she is Thug Rose Namajunas celebrating the win there with her team. You know, martial arts have been a part of her life since she was five years old, and you can really see that when she fights. All of those repetitions over time serving to sharpen her skills, but that is a champion who is going to be very difficult to dethrone inside that octagon. Next, ah, yes, a women's strawweight matchup between Joanne Calderwood and Paige Van Zandt. Well, she finished second as the runner-up on Dancing with the Stars, but this is a fighter's fighter. 12-gauge Paige Van Zant, the longtime Team Alpha male representative, and really is just getting started. Outstanding striker with a lot of finishing instincts, has started to work dutifully on the grappling and the wrestling to sort of round out her MMA game, but Paige Van Zant, already a contender and still just 23 years of age. This girl has outstanding submissions. She is definitely going to want to try to take this fight to the ground and lock up a submission. She is very good from both the top position and working from her guard, and her takedowns are good as well. Well, this young woman has a great skill set, but certainly it's the striking defense that comes out when you watch the film. She'll use movement and defense to set up her own offensive angles, but she'll hang out in the pocket because she's so confident in her ability to stick and move and get her head off of that center line. Really as good a defender of strikes as we have in this women's division. This girl has a ridiculous chin. You never see her get hurt. You never see her get knocked down. She's one of the best chins in the business. And because of that, she has extreme confidence in striking exchanges. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Van Zant is 23. Calderwood is 31. The reach is identical. All right, now, for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, 12-gauge Paige Benzak. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Glasgow, Scotland, Joanne Calderwood. Okay, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch the do it now. Go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. I finna, I finna, I finna, I finna whoop. I finna whoop. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Yep. What you gonna do? Weave. Ah. Eh, eh, ah. Weave. Mink. That would have had her. I would. 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 I would have her. I would. I would. I would. I would have her. Mink. Mink. This could be it right here. What you wanna do? I kill you. You wanna go? Mink. Mink. Stop playing with me, buddy. How about that 
shin. Oh, I knew that. I, I that was not me. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> mink, mink. Oh, look who's dead! You're dead! Go on, go on, dead for done! Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, outstanding technique by her to land that shot and finish the fight here in the first round. Sometimes when you catch a fighter cold before she's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a more pronounced effect. That is certainly the case in this fight here tonight. What a result. What a knockout. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Bruce Buffer has your Ladies official decision. Being is called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, 12-gauge Paige Van Zandt. So the celebration is on for PBZ, and rightfully so. You can argue this was her cleanest performance to date. There has been a ton of skill development for Paige Van Zant. You saw it tonight. She has clearly made the most of her UFC experience. She has maximized her time away from the octagon, and it looks as though the best is yet to come. All right, coming up next, it is a most anticipated women's strawweight matchup between Jessica Aguilar and Angela Hill. My bad, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to do something real quick. I'm trying to go quick, though. Well, you first saw her on season 20 of The Ultimate Fighter, and then she came back in fine form in 2017. Here is the former Invicta FC strawweight champion, Angela Overkill Hill. They say iron sharpens iron, and that is certainly what has happened with Hill under the great Eric Del Fierro at Alliance MMA. Nice stable of young women there in Southern California, and that has led to massive improvements for the strawweight contender, Angela Hill. This girl has ridiculous stamina. The ability to push a pace that her opponent can't keep up with is one of her strongest assets. Her cardio is off the charts. Well, she's almost certainly planning to take her opponent down in this particular matchup. And it's not just taking the opponent down, though. It's what she does with it. She will unleash some of the most brutal ground and pound this sport has ever seen. That's what she is known for. She'll maintain the top position for a full round, if need be, to set up those nasty punches and elbows on the ground. Vicious, vicious ground and pound striker making the walk here tonight. This girl is a ground and pound specialist. That is her world. What she likes to do to her opponents is not a mystery, but the problem is, even though they know what she's gonna do to them, they have a very hard time stopping it. She has very good wrestling, and when she gets you to the ground, her ground and pound is absolutely terrifying. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, Angela Overkill Hill.
And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 7 losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Jessica Chad Adiva. Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fighting. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matches for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, strap yourself in. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Meek, 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 meek. She fast. Ma! Oh, and yep, you're dead. Yeah, you're done for. Yeah, you're done. You're done with the opening. Yeah, you're done. E easy, easy claps. See you later, buddy. See you later. Yeah, Joe, how about the knockout there? Beautiful technique to land the fight ending shot. And again, we're a broken record when it comes to this, but sometimes when you catch a fighter cold, maybe before she's had a chance to get herself into the fight, that strike can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Let's see if we get a better look at that from this angle. Here it is one more time. Bam! Nighty night. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Angela Overkill Hill. Well, she's got all the tools, Joe, and she certainly put them to good use tonight as she gets the win and gets so with style points by way of the knockout. No judges needed for this one, and you can be sure her bankroll is going to be fatter on Monday morning. She'll probably get a bonus. At the very least, though, the celebration is on. You see there with her coaches and her teammates, nothing better in all of pro sports than to win a mixed martial arts fight at the... All right, coming up next, ah, uh, yes, a women's strawweight matchup between Jessica Andrade and Randa Quiet Storm Marcos. Well, what a story here. Randa Quiet Storm Marcos born in Baghdad, Iraq, under heavy fire, really, every step of the way, was able to escape with her mother and her siblings. And what a story it is that she's gone on to UFC strawweight contention. In this 115-pound division, she is definitely Canada's best hope for UFC glory. Coming off a big win over the former champion, Carla Esparza, Randa Quiet Storm Marcos is back tonight. This girl has excellent footwork. She is very difficult to get a hold of, very difficult to keep up against the cage, and her footwork, both moving in and out and side to side, are outstanding. She's very difficult to catch cleanly and excellent at closing the distance and landing her own strikes. Well, if you're just looking at speed and footwork, this might be the most talented woman in the UFC at present. So quick on the feet and a master at creating offensive angles, getting her head off of the center line, staying out of her opponent's reach, as good defensively as she is offensively, but certainly what jumps off the film for us, the quickness and the speed with those feet. Very hard woman to prepare for. This girl has a ridiculous chin, and a chin like hers is such an amazing asset to have. She can take shots, she has massive confidence in her ability to take shots, and she stays in the pocket and lands big bombs with her counter strikes. Our tail of the tape for this. She for a little bomb on me, I tell you that much. So uh-uh. I ain't gonna let that one happen. Hey, nah. And they both possess a similar height and reach. Now for the official Ladies introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, 
Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of eight wins, seven losses, and one draw. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Rada Quiet Storm Marshalls. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Jessica Mateus Tapka Andrade! All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners. I am yeah, very up for this fight. They're my the glove! The fans have been anticipating for a long time. He's gonna get this hardened. He's gonna get this hardened. Blink, 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 blink. Blink, 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 blink. Blink, blink, blink. Oh, that was a... Stop! Don't mess with me, buddy. Don't mess with me, buddy. Here, leave me alone. Get up, stupid. I'm over here. Hit me. Over here. Over here. Mink. Oh, no, 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 I promise you, you don't want to wrestle me. <clears throat> I promise you. Excellent movement here on the ground. Yeah, get up, dang. Now, if you want to go to the ground, I really can, but I don't think I don't think you should. I don't, I really don't suggest it, cause I will mess with you up on the ground. What is that? The little furry twirl. Well, I know it's a spinning back fist, but like, all she do is so slow. She go, eh. Get out of here, dude. Lay down. Bro, get up. Hey, you don't want to wrestle me. Wow! This could be wow. it. Oh. Another knockout. <laughs> like, what do I do? What do I do? Nice takedown. Oh. Tell me, man. Oh. Oh. Come on, you you want fight? Oh. Let's go. Oh. We can go like this. Transitions here on the ground, staying busy. Go ahead, let me get it. Go ahead, let me go to them. Let me get a excellent movement on can the I, ground. Can here. I constantly not? moving, constantly staying busy. She's moved back to full guard now. Does she even have any such submissions? Back to half guard. Whatever, whatever. I don't even think she got any submissions. You lucky. Cause I kill you on the ground. On 
I like to finish people out on the ground though, like like just like ground a pound, cause that is so boring. <laughs> and she didn't have any submission, so we had to finish it one way, you know. That was a huge right hand for the victory. Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, Joe. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Boom! And there she is after the massive knockout. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. in all of professional sports than to have your hand raised inside that octagon but she took it a step further tonight massive knockout victory no tko here this was a flush ko she's probably getting some bonus money one thing i can guarantee you she is getting a massive high profile opportunity next congratulations as the it is a women's strawweight matchup between thug rose nama Yunus and paige van zandt Wait, was my mic muted? Wait, so... I don't know, uh, I said it was about to go down. Yeah, I was like, it's about to go down. Still just 23 years old, 12 gauge Paige Van Zant has already been charged with headlining for the UFC twice, and has had some big moments inside the octagon. We'll see if Paige Van Zant can continue her strawweight ascension tonight in a big spot yet again. This girl is one of the best in the world for throwing fighters to the ground from the clinch. Tying up with her is a serious liability. She is so good at utilizing that clinch and dragging fights to the ground. All right, so here she is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion, Thug Rose Nama Yunus, and that is a power corner behind her, the great Trevor Whitman, her fiance, Pat Barry, and that is one close-knit team that has really relied on each other to take Rose's career to that requisite next level. Two massive wins over Ioana Young Jacek. Tonight, Thug Rose will look to keep it going. This girl has outstanding defense and very good blocking technique. It's so difficult to hit her cleanly. It is a big advantage for her, and she has so much confidence in her defense because of that. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and the same reach. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA. Well, Cage, Page Bassett! And now it's here's your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Fog Rose Narayuna! Give me your instructions. 
instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Yeah, I'm ready to fight. Let's go. Let's go. Ma! Da! 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 Ma! Da! Some boing boing. What's gonna do? What's gonna do? What's gonna do? Wee! Mink! Mink, mink! Ooh, ooh, wee! Uh! Ma! 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 Nope. Mink, mink, mink. Who does? Ooh. Me. Hard straight punch. That one hurt. Get out your shell. Not there. You thought. <laughs> no, it's one thing to be confident in your chin. It's another thing to leave your head wide open. Oh, big shot. Big shots. This could be it. No, no, don't you. What you gonna do? Hook shot attempt to the head here instead. It's blocked by Van Zandt. Oh, good hard kick. Nice jab by Rose Nama Yunus. How about that? We've just over three minutes to go, round one. Van Zandt gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. That uppercut will work. You thought it. How did she block the block the uh, yeah, how she blocked that? She was tired. <laughs> Get up. Come on, let's go. What is that? I just sort of embarrassed you in front of everyone, in front of your family, your mama, your daddy. I embarrass you in front of everyone. <sighs> that can never happen to me. But that's just me though, honestly. That's just me though. That's just me though. That is just me. Full force, full extension, and that spelled the end of the night for the opposition. And when it comes to her highlight reel, Joe, this is the top of the list. This is exactly what she needed here tonight. And let's see that again from another angle. And there she is after the huge knockout victory here tonight. What a moment for this young fighter. You got to feel pretty good for her, Joe. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the official and decision. The referee, Herb Dean, has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Fog Rose Narayuna! Well, they will enjoy this one in the 303 and beyond. Big ups to Thug Rose Namajunas and, of course, her chief corner, Trevor Whitman. That is a potent one-two combination right there. And they've really taken Namajunas' game to the next level of late. This just might have been her best performance to date, and many still believe the best is yet to come for Thug Rose. It is a women's 115-pound matchup between Angela Hill and Randa Quiet Storm Marcos. Sorry. Well, here's the Michigan top team rep, Randa Quiet Storm Marcos, and what a story it is for Marcos. 
escaped from Baghdad, Iraq with her family when she was three years old and has gone on to UFC glory. In terms of women representing Canada, perhaps nobody has higher expectations than Randa Marcos. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue belt, outstanding grappler, and given her backdrop, right, escaping out of Iraq, Joe, no denying the determination and all the heart that Randa Marcos brings to the table. This fighter is one of the best in the business at bringing fighters to the ground. One of her best assets is her ability to utilize all the different techniques of takedowns, whether they're throws or trips or singles or doubles, she can do it all. So here's the Muay Thai striker Angela Hill training under the great Eric Del Fierro at Alliance MMA there in Southern California. Her best days are ahead of her undeniably. Went the distance with Jessica Andrade back in 2017, and that really put her back on the radar of UFC fans. She had spent a year outside the octagon. What did she do? Realized an Invicta FC strawweight title. So we'll see what Angela over Kill Hill has in store here tonight. This girl has outstanding kicking technique. It is one of her best assets. Ridiculous power in her legs. They come fast, and when they land, they have devastating impact. She is one of the best kickers in this division. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introduce the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of eight wins, seven losses, and one draw. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Randa Quiet Storm Marcos. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Angela Overkill Hill. Gripping the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fight. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Right I'm now. Very excited. Right now. Pick up. Pick up. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. Get a punch. To get a punch. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. <laughs> I thought wrestling with you. What was that? Get out of here. I don't want to wrestle with you. I just said that. Stop. Leave me alone. Well, give me. Dang. Yeah, stop. I don't want to do that. Oh. Yeah, if you want to wrestle, we can, but I'm just not, I, I want I want to save you from that embarrassment, you know? Because knocking you out is quick and easy, but tapping out is just still there. So, you know. Do it. You do it again. Stitch your last final warning. You do it again. You're done for, buddy. I'm warning you. You're done for. Just don't do that. She almost moved right into her opponent's kicking range. Certainly something that bears watching here moving forward in this fight. Marcos has worked in that arm well. Double underhooks now. Splits the guard and connects there. Ma. From here, transitions Ma. to the Muay Thai. Coach. Come on. 
that knee might have landed there. <sighs> Battling for hooks. Oh, there's another knee. Her knees have been on point, really, from the moment this fight began. She has landed several in the crowd, and now you can see she is <laughs> She was under him. Just straight ate the kick. He said, mm, that tastes is good. What did I tell you? And she's inside control. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. She's working from half guard. You know, I'm gonna give you another warning, because I really don't want to embarrass wow. you like that. This could be it. But What was that? Beautiful hook. This is a huge hook to the head. Mink. This fight is dangerously close to being sit sit down. down. It's too hard. I'm all up against the cage. See what? Ow, that hurt. Let's wrestle. <laughs> too easy. I I walk to you like a high knife in Puta. Wow, Joe, all I can say is wow, she might have even exceeded her own expectations here tonight. You know the kicks have been a big part of her arsenal, but that was about as perfect a land as we have seen in this division. Full extension, full power behind it, and you knew if she found an opening there, her opponent was gonna be down for the count. A monumental knockout turned in by her here tonight. Great angle here. Boom! Right on the button. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout. Near perfect execution. And that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Angela Overkill Hill. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. She has the potential to be an absolute superstar, especially given what she did tonight. Biggest knockout victory of her career. Certainly kept the judges out of it, as she said she was going to do. Maybe she gets a bonus. I'm not sure. One thing I am sure of, Joe, she is going to get a high-profile opponent next. And she is going to enjoy this evening tonight celebrating with her coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Stop, stop. All right, guys. Are you ready? Let's get it going. <laughs> it is a women's strawweight matchup between <laughs> and Angela Hill. Yeah, I know who I'm going with. <laughs> yes, sir. With much fanfare, here she is, the number one strawweight contender. This is a five-tool player, ladies and gentlemen. One of the best 115-pound fighters we've ever seen. A fighter that many fans believe already is the number one fighter in this division. Now, though, her chance to prove it, to get the hardware, to get the gold, and attach UFC strawweight champion to her name in perpetuity. As she makes her way to the octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated. And she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. No. -uh. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are. The undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points. And that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title.
our tale of the tape for this strawweight championship fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Steen. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC strawweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Angela Overkill Hill. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Fog Rose. for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make all right, fight. here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, me too, me too, me too, me too. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna kill her. Come on. Oh. Effective punch there by Namayus. Bleeding over the left eye now. Hill gets hit to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Landed that left hook. Oh, the huge hook there, Joe. What a wild exchange! Oh! Oh! Big hand! This could be. It can't end like that. There's no way. I at least want to get this to like the second round or something. But I don't mean I'm not going to try and knock her out though. Weave. Huge kick. Hill gets caught with that punch. 
And she lands a nice kick. She's going back to the jab. Good exchanges from both fighters. Wow! This could be it right here. Body kick, look at that. Get out of here. Oh, and there's a kick to the body. Not having that one blocked by Angela Hill. Oh! What a leg kick! Hill gets caught with that punch. Wide open show, and as such, she paid for it there. Beautifully placed and landed kick to the body. Let's see if she makes the adjustments here defensively to avoid absorbing any more kicks to the body. Punches in bunches. Hmm, the combo was crazy. She just thought that was so hard. Oh, I didn't mean to knock her out. That's okay, though. You already know I'm winning. Right hand for the KO. Mm -hmm. yeah, Say, sure Kerplunk. Bang. Well, the stakes were championship, and man, did that woman get the job done here tonight. The UFC women's strawweight champion taking home the belt with a massive knockout win tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Well, she came in as the undisputed queen of the 115 pounders, and Joe, that is exactly the way she goes out. There she is, and still UFC Women's Strawweight Champion. And what a way to get the job done tonight. She gets the flush KO. Yep, and of course. And that is celebration going on in that corner right now. An amazing moment and result for the undisputed best at 115 pounds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And goodbye.